I concluded a long time ago that the whole of life is just a drop of water in an ocean. Take the ocean to mean eternity. Now compare one drop of water to the ocean. Don't mess up the whole ocean because of one drop. You see, what do you mean? Life is what you have to make a decision for the kind of eternity you will have. And every man and every man has an opportunity. Jesus lived only 33 years. Made to still 969 years. And whilst we still have this breath in our noses, and we still walk in the face of the earth, we have the best opportunity to define our tomorrow. Don't be deceived by lies, by envies and jealousies. I may stay focused and run the race so that when you leave, heaven will never forget. Heaven will be glad to receive. Earth will never forget. So whether in life or death, you are preaching, you are teaching, you are encouraging, you are sanctifying, you are helping people for the great beyond. Wow, what a word. Hello everyone, how are you all doing? My name is Esther of the Esther's Chronicles TV, if you are seeing my face for the first time. Yes. It is with a great pleasure that I present this video to you. The short message you just watched was um, Pastor Odukoya preaching, Pastor Taiwo Odukoya preaching Sunday after the wife's death. Yes, the wife after she died, the, the Sunday immediately after it, that was Pastor Taiwo preaching. And you heard what he was preaching. When some people die, everyone rejoices, even though the earth is mourning. But the beauty of such life is that when they were here, they were ministering. And then when they are gone, they are still ministering. Just like Pastor Taiwo's Pastor Nomti Odukoya's death. Somebody told me, Esther, I just discovered Pastor Nomti Odukoya on your channel. And now I've been watching her, I've been learning from her legacy, I've been learning from her life. Somebody is discovering her when she died. Ask yourself, take a minute, you're living. Are you ministering? Are you blessing? Is somebody studying you while you are here? When you are gone, will your life be blessing people? Or people will be saying, oh, thank God she's gone. I want you to reflect over it. And that's the reason why I'm sharing these videos. For us to learn from the life of Pastor Nomti Odukoya. Heaven gained her. Heaven is rejoicing. Even the head is mourning. But her legacy is still blessing souls. And above all, that was the husband standing few days after she passed on. There is a reason for that. And I'll still be bringing you, I'll still be sharing that video as time goes on. And the beauty, another thing that is so, so interesting is immediately after Pastor Nomsti's burial, the Sunday after it, the members of the church, by the way, the name of the church is Fountain of Life. The members of the church put together a video just to just to tell Pastor Taiwo how they love him. And I'm joining my voice to these voices to say, Pastor Taiwo Dukoya, I love you. And it's because I've also worked in that church for a while. So I want you to watch this video and be blessed. Pastor Taiwo Dukoya, I love him because he's an exemplary human being. He is a good man. I love you so much, Pastor Taiwo. I am so proud of you. I am a proud fountaineer. Pastor Taiwo, we love you. I'm a proud fountaineer. I've been here 29 years. We love you, dear. My pastor for over 30 years, a man whose consistency has never wavered or changed. It has been the greatest pleasure of my life to call him my pastor. My name is Ibukwa Oshika. I'm a very proud fountaineer. Pastor Tawo will love you. My name is John Odukoya, and I'm a proud fountaineer for 15 years. Pastor Tawo will love you. My name is Kunle Areogo. I'm a proud fountaineer. I've been in fountain for the past 27 years. You've taught me to love God. You've taught me to worship Him. Pastor Tawo, I love you. My name is Kunle Oshukunle. 
and I am a proud fountainer for the last 23 years. Pastor Taiwo, we love you. My name is Aki, Aki Emi, and a proud fountainer. We love you, Pastor Taiwo. We really do love you. Uh, this is Pastor Rotimi Opaisa. I'm a very proud fountainer. Pastor Taiwo, we love you immensely. Yes. My name is Oida Molashoderu. I'm a proud fountainer and I've been here since 1995. Pastor Taiwo, my pastor, my mentor, a man of integrity, kind, beautiful from the inside and it radiates to the outside. Pastor Taiwo, I love you. I love you. I'm happy that I'm in this house. I'm happy that you're my father. I'm happy that there is nothing, nothing that can separate us in Jesus' name. I'm proud to be a fountain here. Pastor Taiwo, my wife and I, we love you. My family, we love you. Fountain of Life loves you. We stand with you through thick and thin. My name is Jimmy Shoyebo. I've been a fountain here since 1994. And I'm proud to be one of your sons. Thank you, sir. Pastor, sir, I don't know if you know, but you are a general in God's army. That is why I can declare in Jesus' name that you will be victorious in this battle. And your children and grandchildren, even generations after you, will do great exploits because of the seeds that you have sown. Ake Oshibajo, a proud fountainer, Pastor, we love you, sir. We love you, Pastor Taiwo. My name is Abiso Yokoli, and I am a proud fountainer. I've been a fountainer for 28 years. I'm Mrs. Laiko Iki, a very, very proud fountainer. And I'd like to let Pastor Taiwo know that we really, really love him. And I love him especially anyway, so. Pastor Taiwo, I love you, you know it. It's one of the greatest blessings of my life to have been called by God to walk with you in this ministry and I and the rest of the team were committed to you we're standing with you we know you we know you will not look back we know you will not change your mind we know you are committed to your master and by the message of God we are committed with you Pastor Taiwo we love you we love you we love you I'm Tosin Shuemimo and ever proud proud as a peacock we love you, Pastor. Pastor Taiwo, I love you. I'm sure you know that. And I'm a very, very proud fountainer. My name is Olubenga Onobanjo. At a time like this, I look at you and I see the strength of God in you. And see you have resolute faith in the Master has kept me strong still. Babami, Adurotini, will stand by you. Akwamoma Wehi will not allow you to fall. The Most High God will keep you strong, believing and trusting. Pastor Taiwo will love you. My name is Pastor Mary Fayemi and I am a proud fountain. Well, Pastor Taiwo is uh, a true man of faith. A man that I have worked closely with for nearly 25 years. And we've been through very good times. We've been through challenging times as well. But Pastor's faith remains unblemished and undiminished. Pastor Taiwo, I want you to know that we love you. And I love you. I'm a proud fountainer. And my name is Dr. Yele Okirebi. I love you. My family loves you. God bless you, sir. Stay strong. Pastor Taiwo, we love you. My name is Sean Shobo, and I am a proud, like, listen to me, proud fountainer. My name is Omotayo Bayo Kujore. Also, I am a proud fountainer. I love you. God bless you, sir. Amen. Dear Pastor Daniel Taiwo Dukoye, you're indeed a great man of God, a man of the word, a man of worship, a man of purpose, a man of integrity. Thank you for answering the call. We love you, Pastor Taiwo Dukoya. My name is Sheisho Amimo, 
I am a proud fountainer. It said that the measure of a man is not, you know, what happens when things are convenient and when there's comfort, but how they stand, you know, when there are challenges and controversy. Uh, Pastor, you are a rock solid man of God, and we appreciate you. Uh, we love you. Um, my name is Dayton Wogo. I'm a proud fountainer. We love you, Pastor Tyler. Pastor, we love you. I am a proud fountainer. Pastor Taiwo, I admire you, I love you. You are an inspiration to generations. And I can say boldly to you that I am a proud fountainer like thousands of us across the planet. The best is yet to come. My name is Tunde Ayeye and I remain a proud fountainer. It is difficult for me to describe what my life would have been like without the influence of Pastor Taiwo of Dukoya, his teachings, his conduct, his care, um, and he teaches by example. He doesn't just say, do this, do that. You actually see him living it. What a tremendous influence he has had on all of us. Pastor Taiwo, God bless you. We love you very much. My name is Onye Komenu, and I am a proud fountainer. We love you, Pastor Taiwo, and we're proud to be Vantanyan. We love you, Pastor Taiwo, and we're proud to be Vantanyan. Yes, that's what it goes to you, and they look for it again. So that's it, people. And um, as you watch this video, I want us to pray prayer together. That in the days of our adversity, in the days that we need people, people will come through for us. I, you have seen the caliber of those people that spoke. Onyeka Onwenu is there. Mrs. Zacchaeus is there. Those are top women. They are doing exploits. Almost everybody there, they are doing exploits. So it's not a case of they were paid to come and say it. And you see, many of them have been there. I've seen Oyeka Wenu. In fact, Onyeka Wenu has a spot. She has a space where she sits in that church. And Pastor Odukoya calls Onyeka Wenu Auntie Onyeka. I've seen it in that church. So, and it's not a case of they were paid. Most of them have been there for 20 years, 23 years. Some people cannot stay in a church for three months. They can't stay in a church for five years. People are living their destiny with a man. It's not beans. And another thing that struck me while watching and reflecting over the old Odukoya household is the fact that people might want to say, Pastor Bimba Odu, Pastor Taiwo Odukoya is a man of God. How come this is the second wife? You know, in some things, we can't question God. We can't question God. But I'm glad that Pastor Odukoya himself is taking it in good faith. And um, if you want to see the full clip of that video, just go to their channel, The Fountain of Life on YouTube and watch it, it will watch your time. It was interesting to watch and it was beautiful, altogether beautiful. Thank you if you have watched this moment. Please like the video, drop me a comment and share us out. Like I told you, those people were not paid. I know most of them. God bless you and I pray that in the days of your adversity, people will come through for you. Women blessed at all times. Bye-bye.